Diamond Ring, Long Bridges, Soaring Mountains, F1 Cars, 3D Games. Do you think they have anything in common? Well, they all are just repeating triangles. Why triangles? Because triangles are one of the most versatile and strongest shape. And in this video, we are going to learn about them. So, let's get started. Triangle. It's just three random points placed arbitrary in space, that's it. But the point shouldn't be on the same line, else it will just become a line. So what's so special about triangle? I mean, every shape is just some number of points in 3D space. Well, that's not exactly true, and I will show you how. If we take four random points in 3D space and join them, we might get a rectangle, square, or maybe some other quadrilateral. But most probably, you will get a weird 3D shape. And this weirdness goes even beyond with 5, 6 or 7 points and so on. A plane is always embedded in definition of triangle itself. And isn't it remarkable? Had made great significance in modern digital world also. Our world consists of numerous shapes, but they are predominantly the triangles ones. They can be observed in buildings, bridges, NPC in video games, stadiums, etc. But here are some questions we must ask why triangles? The reason for this is strength and also their dynamic nature. Let's understand it in this way. Whenever a structure fail or deform, why does it happen? What are those weak points which causes the entire structure to fail? And most importantly, how to prevent them? Okay, one more time, definition in terms of sides. Given three sides of a triangle, there is one and only one triangle which can be formed from it. Have a look at how all possible cases are just the same triangle. Well. It's not true for squares or other higher shapes. If you are creative enough, you can make plenty of shapes with given sides even if their joints are locked. And we know chaotic nature is most creative among us. Edges angles are the most only mobile and weak points in most of the structure. And it gives nature freedom to distort the shape. By nature here, I mean various forces in our environment like momentum of moving cars, children jumping, friction, gravity etc. Rectangle can easily be distorted to parallelogram and with more sides it just become artboard. Surprisingly, even a bit of triangulation can prevent this so-called structure failure. Once we introduce triangulation, there is simply no possible dist distortion these columns can attain. Now I'm sure most of you let the motors of your brain running wild and are wondering if these joints are the main cause of deformation. Why aren't the circles and arches strong enough? This shape doesn't have even edges, so there is no way they can be deformed. On top of that, they have a unique property in which they transform all the weight struck upon them to ground below. And we have seen from Romans to Mughals to modern structure, using them again and again. So then why all the reference to triangles? Because when we compile a few triangles, the resultant new shape possesses the strength of each individual triangle used. But that's not the case with circle. Circles is a great and useful shape, but it is not friendly with other circles. On the other hand, triangle is super versatile. It comes in various shapes and sizes and can fit almost anywhere. An interesting revelation is made when we closely study circles and arches used in modern structures such as Stadium Roof or Sydney Harbour Bridge. As a matter of fact, even they are made up of triangles deep in their foundation. If we make structure that causes a great size or great strength of both, we use triangles. So now that we know about triangles and their wide uses, we can actually understand the amount of importance their mathematics hold which otherwise were just boring and fancy symbols. Let's look at one classic problem. Now, if you have to install an air conditioner on the walls or make shortcut in rectangular park, or have to fit a slanted staircase, what's the length or cost of the material used? Is it the sum of two or the average of two? The solution to problem of this kind was actually worked out by Egyptians. They found that if a rope of three unit and another rope of four unit are placed in right angle, then the third rope of five units fit perfectly well. We also come upon many other such triplets. They are also listed in Babylonian tablets centuries before even Pythagoras was born. But what if we have a general formula? The answer to this kind of question is the elegant one. Square of slanted side is equal to the sum of square of height and the base. It's the famous Pythagoras theorem, which is arguably the most important formula discovered by human mind. But why square? For that, see this beautiful proof, proof of rearrangement.
and this theorem is not only bound to triangle but appear in pattern made by squares and circles. Look at these beautiful patterns how smartly there is hidden our right angle triangle. Pythagoras theorem is not only used in normal geometry but also in curves of ellipses and hyperbolas. In every branch of maths we are bound to come across these triplets. If I extend that concept I can in fact imply that it joins two dimensions. In 2D it measures the hypotenuse of a triangle. In 3D it measures the diagonal of the cube. In 4D it measures the diagonal of 4D cube cuboid but don't try to visualize it. As you should keep wondering curious peoples, till then we will be back with more such content.